Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are talking tea. I'm going to tell you right now, we are talking about how I make tea, not necessarily how tea is supposed to be made. There are lots of different ways to make tea. I am talking sweet cold tea. And I do three different things, and it's really kind of easy, but it might make some tea traditionalist, enthusiast, I don't know what you would call them, tea aficionados, like, cringe. Like, absolutely cringe. And I'm okay with that, because my philosophy on this is you do you. Yeah, that's basically it. So let's talk about my basic tea. I have really become an iced tea drinker, and I will not, I should not call it iced tea. I should call it cold tea. I'm not a big fan of iced tea, because I think the ice dilutes the tea. So what I like to do is I like to make tea and then make it cold. All right, let's talk about this. It's really easy to make a simple process. I am using water, sugar, and tea. At first, I thought it was a lot of tea. I'm now finding out that it's not a lot of tea, but here's how I do it. So the first thing that I do is I take my, my pot, and it's a big pot, and I add a little water to it, then I add one cup of sugar, then I add more water, so I finally have 16 cups of water in my pot. Then, with the sugar and water in the pot, I bring that up to almost a boil. What I want to see is I want to see uh, air bubbles that are about the size of a pea, maybe a little bit smaller, coming up in that. And the other thing which I found about this, which I think is really cool, is if you do it that way, you don't have to stir anything, no? Because I'm using cold water going into it, the cold water gently heats up. You don't have to worry about the sugar scorching, and I've been doing this now for a long, long, long time. So yeah, I just put it on, get it up to the point where it's almost boiling. Sometimes I'll leave the lid on it, sometimes I won't, just depends on my mood. And then once it is boiling, I will remove it from the heat. Once it's almost boiling, I'll remove it from the heat. Once it's removed from the heat, I will add my tea. Now what I did for this first one, I went with a tea which is easy to get a hold of. In my area, it was just simple to get, get the tea bags. And so I am going to use seven tea bags. Now, at first, I thought seven tea bags was a lot of tea bags. It, it's not. No, after reading some of the things that I read about tea this last week, it's not. It's not a lot of tea at all. In fact, one of the things which I think is really cool, I have these baby clothes pins. I call them baby clothes pins, but they're really small. I will attach those to the tea bags and make sure that those are what's weighing them down so that the uh, paper part doesn't fall into the water. But also I make sure to dunk the tea bags into the water to make sure that the tea bags are saturated before I start the steeping. What is steeping, you ask? Steeping, from my knowledge, which is limited, don't forget, I'm telling you right off the bat, it's limited. Steeping is just letting your tea your tea soak in the water, usually it's hot water, for a period of time. I put my lid back on the tea, uh, on my pot, and then I let it steep for 15 minutes. Now, some of you audibly gasped at that, but yeah, I go for 15 minutes. It's what I like. I think it's good. Once it's gone through the 15 minutes, I will remove the tea bags from the pot. Then I will let it cool. To cool mine, I've found this thing where I can put it on a cookie rack, cover it over so I don't have to worry about things falling into it or in the summertime, anything flying into it. So then I let it cool. Once it's cooled, I put it into jars, put the jars into the refrigerator. Are we ready to drink it? Once it's cold, we're ready to drink. I did find that I have this really nice pitcher, which I don't know why I absolutely love it, but I do. I pour the tea into the pitcher, and then I'm ready to pour myself a nice glass of tea. Uh, how much tea do I drink? Way more than I want to admit. So just go with a lot. It's a lot. So I do that, you know, two, three, four times a week, uh, and that's how I do my normal tea. Now, one of the things which I have been finding is I've been wanting to, I thought I'd do a, a chamomile tea, but I wanted to do this in a little bit different way. So I had heard about cold brewing tea. 
Cold brewing tea is just like cold brewing coffee where no heat is used. So I have this handy dandy cold brewer, which I think is pretty cool. There'll be a link for it down below in the description. Uh, so you just put your tea into the tea brewer, cold tea brewer. Then you put the top on it. The top has uh, trap air in it, so it will float up at the top of your water. So then once it's in the water, then you literally, you know, like I said, it's in the water. I add, uh, it's about half a gallon of water or eight cups of water. Put the tea, put the thing in there, close the lid, and then I put that into my refrigerator for anywhere from 24 to 30 hours, depending upon if I forgot about it, which it does happen. After 24 hours, I will bring it out. I will drain as much of the water out of the tea brewer that I can, and then put the lid on it, and it's done. That's my chamomile tea. Why cold brew tea? Well, the thing that I've found with cold brew tea is it does take some of the harshness out of the tea, and I think I think it's the tannins that gives it sort of that bitter flavor, and I didn't like that. I don't know why I have no problem with that with green tea, but with the chamomile, I thought found it was sort of harsh. So cold brewing it, I think it's wonderful. I usually have about eight ounces before I go to bed, and well, I mean realistically, I'm not doing that for sleeping because if you know anything about me. I sleep like a baby, like absolutely sleep like a baby. I have no problem sleeping. So it's a thing. And this is another one of those teas that I absolutely love. Can you add other things to the tea? Oh, sure. You could replace the sugar with honey. You could absolutely leave it out and just have unsweetened tea. Hey, Southern people, stop gasping. Don't clutch the pearls. It's okay. There are people who don't like sweetened tea. I find that odd, but that's just me. Okay, so let's go for the third version of tea. And this one, this one's a little different. Let's let Pass Me explain it. So the first one I'm going to taste is the peppermint. So this is 7-Up and peppermint tea. Two bags, cold brew for five hours. It's not bad. You can taste the peppermint. It's not overwhelming. It's like the subtle behind the 7-Up um, taste. You know, I'll finish that. I'll definitely finish that. That is really good. All right, let's go on to Earl Grey. Now, the one thing I did make sure is I made, I did put two tea bags in here, as I explained earlier. Well, you can definitely taste the pepper, but I put two tea bags in. And as you can see, it definitely changed the color. So let's taste the Earl Grey. Yeah, that's nice. It has a light tea taste. You definitely, it does not have the 7-Up taste. 
it tastes like a light tea. It's already sweetened. Once again, something I will finish. In fact, let me put the lid back on. And now we have the green tea. It tastes like green tea with lemon. The green tea has more of a bite to it, but these still are really good, and it was so easy to do. And like I said, I did two tea bags for five hours in the refrigerator. Works out wonderfully. I, I like this. I'd recommend it. So those are my three versions of tea for this week. Like I said, I drink a ton, a ton of tea. Uh, every day I have more tea than I should, probably, and it's good. I, I'm enjoying tea. In fact, I've cut down on the amount of pop or soda or whatever you call it, fizzy water that I drink, and I'm now drinking tea. Uh, the amount of sugar, which is the one cup of sugar for 16 ounces or 16 glasses of uh, water, which is 16 cups, um, I'm not too worried about that right now. But I'm enjoying this. I absolutely am becoming a tea person. I'm interested now into trying some other teas. I know I used to do a, a pomegranate herbal tea, which was really good. Might go back to trying that. But if there are some teas that you would recommend, let me know down in the comments. This was a lot of fun. Now, the 7-Up tea, will I do that again? I might. I really might. I might actually try that with even some herbal teas. I don't know if that would work. I did hear that Sprite is better than 7-Up for the tea, but I enjoyed the 7-Up. I had the 7-Up on hand, so yeah, that's what I went with. But it was really good, super easy. Now, like I said in the video, I did do it for a longer period of time and with extra tea bags because when I first did it, I did not think it was strong enough. So I wanted a little stronger tea, but it's really good. Nice cold, cold uh, brew tea. I would highly recommend it. At this time, I'd like to thank these wonderful people who let me go on these tea journeys. Journeys? To journeys? Whatever. Uh, if you want to become part of the Patreon family or part of the channel members, which helps support this channel and makes it possible that I can do these videos, and we also discuss about what other videos I should be doing, and you get a weekly behind-the-scenes vlog to show you what's going on in my life, and you get these videos early. That's the cool part about this, is you've, they've already seen this video way before you've seen it. Uh, so that's a fun thing. If you want to join that, just click the link. It is a wonderful way to support the channel, but also another wonderful way of supporting the channel is to like and share the video. That tells the YouTube algorithm that this video is something other people should watch. If there are other teas that you'd like to have me test, if there are other recipes for making teas you'd like to have me try, let me know. Before you go into the whole, you should do coffee. I don't like coffee. No, I, I'll go with mocha, but I'm not a big coffee fan. Sorry not going to happen. But if there's other things you would like to have me test, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I get to see you again the next time you stop by.